Hi, I'm John, and this is Small Jobs. Let's talk, take a moment to talk about primers here. There's essentially two different types of primers, brush-on and aerosol. Aerosol comes in a can, it's pretty much spray paint. The advantage to a aerosol or a spray can type of primer is that it gives you a nicer even coat and uh, generally gets the overall miniature in one fell swoop. Uh, apply it in two passes, nice light even coats. The brush on primer works just like a regular paint. You use the brush to apply it, comes in little bottles. Uh, the advantage to these is that you can work it into the nooks and crannies that you normally can't get to with the spray primer. Uh, the drawback is that you may end up seeing some brush strokes. Not really a big deal because you're going to be covering it up with paint anyway. But, oh, important to note. The aerosol is going to be slightly toxic. Make sure to follow the instructions on the back of the can. Wear proper breathing protection. Get a, a breathing mask and uh, use in well-ventilated areas. Brush on. You can sit at your desk. Work, it, work with it immediately, kind of a nice bonus. Uh, now you, you do see that I've got a few different colors here. Why is that? Well, depending upon the overall feel of the miniature that you're trying to achieve, you're going to get a better or worse uh, feel for it if you actually start with the, the, the primer. So your white primer is going to give you an overall brighter miniature. So if you're looking for something that kind of stands out, bright colors, you're better off starting with a nice good white coat. On the other hand, if you're working on something that's a little darker, a little creepier, you're going to want to work with the black. The advantages to using the black is that it'll get, it'll show the shadows a little better, your paints are going to be a little darker, it's going to give you that darker feel. If you're using the white, you're going to have to actually go back in and make sure that all your nooks, your crannies, your corners, your shadows are filled in. Uh, it looks a little strange as you've got little corners of white peeking out. You'll see that I've also got a can of gray primer. I recommend this for beginners because it's kind of the best of both worlds. If you miss a spot, nobody's really going to notice, and because it's gray, it kind of does a little pre-shade for you. If you have any further questions, be sure to check out the forums at playthegamepodcast.com.